welcome back everyone to another video and, and in one of my previous videos i did uh, a short demo on uh, bash running on the windows 10 platform so uh, today uh, it's a bit different and today we are going to try and run uh, the, the linux gui applications that run on the x server now this was actually uh, found and uh, reported by wq uh, w2qw on the uh, windows 10 reddit and according to him uh, first we need to install the x uh, x server for uh, windows and then uh, use a command like display equal to column zero and then the program name so i have gone ahead and installed uh, the x server as you can see and i will minimize that and on here uh, I have installed a few programs so let's go ahead and see how they actually work uh, and all right so the first one we are going to run is Firefox now do keep in mind that this is a very uh, in a very early development stage so it is very slow compared to Firefox running on the Windows uh, natively. So uh, let's open up my website. And uh, just for comparison, I will keep this one aside and open up uh, Firefox on Windows so what we can do is we we'll open up the website here and then open up the website here so as you can see the response is not as fast I I might have to restart the Firefox and as you can see it's not responding at all so we can kill that and then uh, Start the uh, Firefox order program and uh, so as you can see, it's uh, in very, very uh, early development stage. The uh, bash on Windows thing and it won't respond. So we'll get back to Firefox later and let's open up Leafpad, which is a uh, uh, GUI uh, text editor, very small GUI text editor for Linux, and we'll just write something random there, and we can save it, and that will be saved to our uh, root directory, so the home uh, directory of the root user, and when we do, do that, we can actually ls, and we do get our file name right here. So that is working. Let's try Firefox once again. So now it seems to work and it has crashed and this actually happens quite often. Uh, don't expect this to be a very uh, stable thing anytime soon. So there we go, it continuously crashes. Now I just want to open something that would work. And it looks like uh, it's probably not that much usable at all. So as soon as I click, it starts to crash. Now uh, there is another application that goes by the name GLX, yes, which is an uh, open GL demo for a uh, generic. Uh, Linux OS and as you can see that also crashes very soon sometimes it's there for more than a second and sometimes it just crashes as soon as it opens up uh, the next thing uh, is uh, very simple it's uh, the uh, generic calculator you would find in a GNOME based Linux 
Linux OS and you can do stuff with it that's all nothing much uh, so yes light applications actually work well when you go to the more heavier application like Firefox they tend to crash now I'll just try it once more and let's see if that works Okay, so Google opened up uh, and then crashed again. So yes, it's not very stable. And another thing I would like to say is that uh, you might have heard rumors and news that uh, from such websites that uh, someone got uh, X face uh, XFCE uh, desktop environment running, which is not true. Now I can show that to you. I have set up XFCE to work. But as soon as I go, uh, and it will wait for some time and then it will crash. So let's wait and see what happens. So as you can see, uh, it does give an error X connection to uh, our uh, display that is called zero broken uh, and something something. So and this screenshot is actually very misleading it's not running on bash on windows it's actually running on uh, size when uh, it's an app it's quite similar to bash on windows but it's a third party application uh, to run the linux commands on windows os so this is about it on running a uh, linux based gui application on windows uh, some stuff works, some doesn't, uh, most don't. And let's give Firefox another try and open it up again. And let's see if it works. Uh, at least for a few seconds, it should. Uh, I just really want you guys to have a good look. So, yes, very, very dodgy uh, solution to. Uh, uh, of running X on uh, Windows and I think I will end this video here we cannot get Firefox to run at all right now it just opens up and then crashes so thank you so much guys for watching this video and uh, yes uh, subscribe and like this video if you like it and I will see you guys next time